Big t- story. I kind of dated a Tinder swinger in the first lockdown, and this story is gonna <laughs> it's gonna send your mi- mind a little bit Rough. wild. Did okay? he have? Did he ask you thirty thousand because he's enemies? Uh, <laughs> close, close, very, very close. So this guy I matched on Tinder with, I think like two thousand eighteen, and he'd been kind of you know messaging me for a while. And to be honest, I looked at his Instagram and I thought, he, this guy's fake. He is too beautiful to be real. There's no way this man is real. That's like, when you got a reverse he, image yeah, search. Yeah, yeah, he, he is not real right anyway he he started messaging me again and we got chatting and it was literally the beginning of like 2020 end of 2019 so i agreed to meet him and we went on a date and i was like oh my god he's actually real but he'd been a little bit funny in messages like a little bit arrogant and i was like yeah i'm not digging your vibe you may be pretty but your brain is not that great Mm -hmm. so why'd you go and see him because I thought I'd give him a chance because he really was pursuing me. This has been going on for two years. So I thought, okay, give, give this guy a go. Mm. So he went for a drink and he told me that his mum had a charity in Africa and everything like this. And do you know that really, you know, when someone does mm. ba- something for the community, all I thought, okay, friends. this guy's mm. pretty good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> it all happened very fast. Lockdown happened and um, <laughs> we ended up moving in together, which was the, the biggest mistake ever. <laughs> Wait, you moved after how long? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like four weeks, he decided to like move. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. Again. I've been there. Move on. Okay, so, so anyway, anyway, this 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 kind of happened. You got what you deserve. Right, right. Yeah, you got what you deserve. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. Four okay. weeks. All right. It happened because we were both in a financial situation where I was going to have to go back to Jersey and he was going to have to go back to wherever he lived. I don't even know this man. I don't even know if he's real. Like, his name is really his name. So we ended up together because of the situation. Not because we were like, oh, yeah, we love each other so much. Mm. Let's live together. Because of the situation. We knew we liked each other. Mm -hmm. We were sexually attracted to each other. And we knew we got on. Kirsten, can I just say, you don't move in with anyone, yeah, if there's not that element of what you just said. No, I get that, but it was a scary time, wasn't it? At the beginning of lockdown, nobody knew what was going on, like financially, like emotionally. And I was living on my own. He was living at a hotel. So we ended Mm -hmm. up together, okay? Now, during the course of this relationship, a lot of weird things started going on. He started telling me about this friend of his, Marie, who lived in Dubai. She was an air hostess and, you know, she she was really sweet. And it was so great, babe. Yeah, she's got in contact with me. I'm going to go and see her. It's amazing. We're childhood friends from Paris. Now, I can keep up with these stories, okay? Because he was born in Brazil. Then he was born in Cameroon. Then he was born in Paris. And I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, where where were you born? Kirsty, Kirsty, so you're living with this guy. Yeah. And his story changes from Cameroon to Brazil or Brazil to Cameroon. Yeah, it got very complicated. Yeah, but what 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 is your reaction? Okay, so so he started going off on me. We gotta break this down because this story seems a little bit different continents. (laughs) Literally, I was so confused, so confused. So he kept moaning at me that I wasn't commenting on his photos on Instagram. And I was like, how do I need to comment? Comment, babe like I'm right here with you would you not ra- I'd rather give you affection here he's like no it's my life you need to comment on my on my pictures all the time Kirstie, it was way Kirstie, too much Kirstie, Kirstie, so Kirstie, no 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 Kirstie. listen so I knew something was going on so I commented once on a this photo doesn't sound mm-hmm. right and then and then it exploded what my DMs with girls a girl first of all messaged me and apparently he was in a relationship with her and had been for six months an online relationship she got so oh. mad she set up five fake Instagram accounts she released all his naked photos and videos told these women to get in contact with me Ew. messaged the 300 and whatever women he was following told them to message me and my inbox was flooded with messages like oh my god he's been like so why did, why did he want you to comment I have no idea no was he trying idea. to get rid of you low key, no, like, like he was he was trying to get us to move to France in this fake house that apparently his dad had that didn't exist. Like, Percy, you can know. I just say you got given multiple red flags? <laughs> yeah? Literally, you got right. given multiple red flags. I mean, and yeah. each red flag you acted like an ostrich and you buried your head in the sand, right? And I so mean. there are too many women out there, yeah. I mean, that see, right, no, 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 you just I have to take a, it. I take accountability. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying. When a guy says to you he was born in Cameroon, but then all of a sudden he's born in Brazil, yeah, he's changed his. St- you're you're, you're going to be like, uh, uh, right. uh, uh? I had some wine at the time. I didn't know what was no, real that's or not. not an excuse. Did, did no. I dream it? Like that, no. <laughs> the other problem is that you also could have been in fear because of the situation you were in. You said it yourself was, that yeah. was he hot? How hot was he? Fear. Oh, I'm going to show say, you how. Let me let me see. Show. Go- <laughs> pull up his IG because on the screen. Now, now watch this. Now watch this. Now watch this. Now watch yeah. this. Right. The fact that she was like, 
how hot he is. Yeah. 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 No. It still shows me, it still shows me that you still have a little bit of a twinkle for this No, guy. no, no, no. I promise you, you I can, swear down, I'm I think that someone's sure. attractive sure. without wanting sure. sure. So he, just to put things in perspective, what he did was he would set his hinge and tinder to different jurisdictions in the world. So every month when his benefit ran out, because he was claiming benefit in loads of different jurisdictions, <laughs> he had a child as well this who couldn't remember the age, up. right? So he'd meet women in different jurisdictions and then find his next place to live. Oh my God. And then he told all these women that he'd lost like 10,000, 15,000. Same sub story. My my flat, um, my roommate, my friend, his, his house oh got broken my God. to in Denmark. And I lost my laptop, all my designer clothes, me... my Rolex, my money. And he told the same story to these 300 women. Oh, at you know least, so at funny, least right? he didn't get cash out listen, of you. I know. Listen, women, women do this to guys all the time. The only reason why the Tinder swindler was a story is because guys don't generally do this type of stuff. They don't generally swindle women out of their money. Women are swindling men out of their money. Because women day. aren't dumb enough. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. We're not going to get swindled out of day. our money most of the time. <laughs> no, I think I think women. We definitely I mean, are I mean, dumb I enough. Come on, yeah. come on. <laughs> men, men are just more like they have more. Are we speaking <laughs> French? Because I don't know who we is. <laughs> it's not gonna be yeah. me. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. Wait, let me see. Let me see. I was like, he has to be like crazy good looking to get away with this. There's no way. He's actually homeless, this guy. But you look at his Instagram. I understand. And he goes, <laughs> and he goes, he'll stand next to cars. People's run. When we were living together, I had to take Man's photos of him outside houses. And he was pretending that, honestly, I can't. Mm. I can't. But I, I caved. This is I proof, folks, friends. that Instagram yeah, really yeah, does not friends. show you shit. Right? <laughs> right? Instagram really does not show you shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, men's look like he's living the time of his life and oh no, he's whole homeless. time he's homeless. <laughs> yeah, he's homeless. Yeah. So Sorry. the thing is, right? Okay. <laughs> um, women are attracted to attracted to shiny things. Uh huh. Okay. And what you got shown is a shiny thing, and you were like, Very "Oh my shiny. god, <laughs> diamonds!" Look at it. Look at it. And you okay. can, and and the thing is, men that understand that women get attracted to shiny things can exploit that, just like women that understand men get right. attracted That's, to yeah, women, yeah. right? Or their ass or their boobs or their whatever right. can attract a guy like that. Yeah, but I'll be completely honest. I found him super boring, right? I'll be completely honest. Usually, really attractive fun. people are he boring. He was as super well. boring. I'm not boring. And he would he would hammer go at me because he was like, "I can hear." on the phone to your guy makes you laughing you're gonna leave me you get like really you know worked up about it but i would not have been with him had it not been for the pandemic there's no chance in hell i would have continued dating him it was a how situation. long how long were you living with him for uh, three months about three months yeah three months you're with this guy yeah in the same every day same, under the every same every day room. and he was just on his phone and you've only known him for four weeks yeah yeah i know you don't look need to it. shake she's, your head at me. Look it, look it. She's agreeing. She's no, like, but, Casey, like but look, this situation, obviously you've learned from your experience. Though. Don't kick her while yeah. she's down. So <laughs> right. she admitted to it. It was a bad time. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Financially, emotionally, you'd be he, shocked he was what you there. Do. Yeah. <laughs> 